Hello, um, so I saw a video on YouTube recently that I thought was interesting, um, I think, oh I can't remember who it was by, I think it was by Wild Young Thing, or something to that effect, um, as the username. They were talking about an article that was recently in the Daily Mail, um, I didn't see the article personally, but I did look it up on the internet afterwards, after having seen their video. Um, the article was about videos on YouTube about hauling or shopping so basically videos of which the person describes what they have bought um, which there are loads of videos like that on YouTube uh, got to say but uh, the video I saw about this was quite an uh, angry response to it because they thought that the Daily Mail had um, shown it in negative light and essentially implied that the people were um, showing off um, and things like that, you know, spoilt, things like that. Um, I read the article um, and I think in a way I don't feel as angry as them because I think it was more balanced than they initially took it to be because um, I think that the article used words, well, a bit like saying some might, some people might think that these people are spoilt, but so, so it did show a bit of both arguments. Um, it may, it was essentially um, focused on videos that um, are teenage girls making videos about makeup they've bought or clothes they've bought, rather than the whole of everyone shopping. Um, which I think leaves out quite a lot of shopping videos that there are because not all hauling videos are about makeup and clothes to be honest um, but there was th one thing about the article that I didn't like which was that it implied um, and the comments below it on the Daily Mail website about it implied that people thought the only people that would watch makeup videos or stuff like that by teenage girls would be essentially I don't know <laughs> paedophiles or something I, I don't know where this, this idea has come from uh, there were loads of comments like why would anyone watch these videos or what kind of people would watch these videos and stuff like that um, I don't get it because when my young, uh, sister was younger she um, read a lot of magazines about makeup. She bought loads of magazines about makeup, bliss and glamour and things. Um, so, to my mind, people who watch videos about makeup are probably other teenage girls or other people interested in makeup. Um, I I don't see how you could take away from that that some something bad is going on, or paedophiles are. What the ones watching? I don't. I don't see how how I think that's bizarre. Um, why why that would be taken to be the people watching? Because well, it just seems bizarre that, that that would be the conclusion jumped to. Because I mean, I'm, some of them have thousands and thousands of viewers, and sure, I imagine at some stage there's going to be some people watching that aren't you know interested in makeup but n the majority of people watching makeup videos are going to be interested in makeup I, I imagine and it would just be, seem really odd if someone was watching for weird reasons that it was <laughs> implied to because that would just be something odd I mean you, if you walk down the street you can see girls or whatever it would seem odd to just stare at makeup videos to be seeing girls. It's just like the only thing that it's going to come to is that if to get rid of that argument, what would you have to do? Stop girls from going outside or something? Because essentially, every time a girl below the age of twenty-four does anything, people go ah. Oh, Perverts and pedophiles will see them. Blah. What are you gonna do? I have no idea because 
it doesn't matter what they do, it always seems to come back to that stupid argument. Stupid. I'm sorry that uh, this video seems to have focused on that, um, because it just seems like a stupid argument based on nothing. I mean, they've not gone through someone's subscribers and gone X amount of them weren't teenage girls or anything. It's based on nothing. There's not, even, there's not a single fact or scrap of evidence. It's speculation that the audience wouldn't be other teenage girls, which is weird. I think that's weird anyway. That you could write an implication that something sordid is going on based on nothing at all. So, um, that I thought was worth getting angry about, but not whether or not hauling is bad for you. Um, I suppose I ought to have really mentioned that because the, um, that was what the main focus of the controversy seemed to be was whether or not um, they were show-offs or things like that. I don't really think that um, the uh, girls who make hauling videos or makeup videos are showing off because I think they are the type of girls who would be talking about makeup and things anyway. Um, whether it's on YouTube or on Facebook or in school or whatever, they would they would probably still be talking about makeup. Um, they would probably still be doing all that sort of stuff. So, since YouTube is their social outlet, it makes sense that they would talk about those sort of things on YouTube as well. So. I don't really think it's showing off, really. It's just the the place that it has come to. Um, yeah.